From birth, each of us start out on a journey that is driven by choices. Today, I want to challenge our thought patterns. We're going to start out from understanding the choices we make as individuals and how we collectively can make healthier energy choices that result in bigger steps towards delivering a cleaner energy future. My first encounter with energy is a memorable one. As a toddler, my mum caught me eating coal out of our bunker. Thankfully, mum weaned me off coal onto healthier food choices. In a way, this is where we are in the global energy transition. We are addicted to fossil fuels that scientific evidence proves is harming our one and only home, planet Earth. In our day-to-day -day lives, we all need to wean ourselves off fossil fuels and onto healthier energy choices. Our daily routines are too often driven by convenience and not conscience. I live 300 yards from my kids' school, and on a rainy day, I have two options, car or walk. Too often, I choose convenience. But now I'm working from home, I have more opportunity to choose conscience, and so we walk to school. Northern Ireland now has the chance to choose conscience too. We can now make better choices in a collective way, to generate a scale of change that none of us can achieve as individuals. In my work at Sony, we manage, plan and operate the electricity grid. We make sure that there's enough electricity generated and move that power around the grid to where it's needed, including your home. There is already a way to create energy without harming our planet, renewable electricity. Using the wind, the sun or the waves, it's possible to generate electricity in a completely clean way. If you currently use something that burns a dirty fuel like your car or your heating, this can be replaced by something powered by clean electricity. So in our future, more people will be using more electricity for more purposes than ever before. And most of that power will come from renewable sources. At Sony, we need to make the grid strong enough to carry more power and flexible enough to cope with the variability of generation like wind and solar. But we only have less than a generation, 29 years or so, to make the changes to our habits as a global community and strive for net zero. And this assumes that we all start to make changes today. Five years ago, I would have been firmly in the camp of climate change denial, but a discussion with my friend Norman led me to rethink my thoughts. Norman made a choice to invest much of his life in rural development in Kenya. He told me, David, you need to realize that in dry parts of Kenya, the drought cycle has reduced from five years down to two. This transformed my thinking. It made me realize that the worst consequences of climate change will be felt first by those who have done the least damage. This wake-up call makes me think consciously about everyday decisions and whether they impact others. I think this is best articulated in the guiding principle of a just transition. It is vital that global economy, government, business and individuals work together to ensure that no one is left behind in this crisis. I firmly believe that hope starts with change. As a power engineer, I am in an amazing position where my ideas and decisions will enable far-reaching change. Because what we do together as a society can achieve so much more collectively than I can ever do as an individual. I am truly excited to say that the electricity system is getting ready for change and change is coming. Growing up, I was encouraged to be energy efficient. I remember my dad shouting, switch the lights off, quickly followed by, you'd know you aren't paying the electricity bill. In fact, this principle is fundamental to the energy transition. As Northern Ireland replaces dirty fuels with highly efficient renewable electricity, we'll be able to reduce our need to produce energy in 2050 by at least half. I mentioned my own taste for coal earlier. Sadly, coal was the single biggest producer of the world's electricity in 2019. But it was also the year that the combined output from low carbon alternatives just pushed slightly ahead of coal. And closer to home, coal will be completely phased out of Northern Ireland's fuel mix in 2023. That might not be fast enough for some, but it is a hugely significant milestone. I'm excited to see the start of a transformational shift to a net zero power sector. 2019 was the year that Northern Ireland achieved a new record, 40% of electricity used from renewable sources. Today, this stands at nearly half, albeit in part due to the effect of COVID on electricity use. It's exciting to be part of a power sector that is striding ahead of the global average as the world weans itself off dirty fuels. However, we can't become complacent. Northern Ireland must now step up and understand how we can collectively deliver a net zero power system. Electricity today has quite a low share of energy in our daily lives. Regrettably for me, oil is by far my biggest share as I heat my home and drive my car. But I believe that I and we need to start choosing clean energy for more purposes 
By 2050, more than half our energy could be easily met from electricity. I live on an island, and I can tell you there is an abundance of natural resources to meet our energy needs. I only need to take you to the north coast of Northern Ireland, and you will feel the breathtaking natural energy from the wind and ocean. The power system must be made ready to tackle the challenge of transporting these natural energy sources into our homes. As a planning engineer, I know how to fix the problem, but I also need to help individuals and communities understand the changes to the grid that will be needed. Collectively, we need to be open to new infrastructure. It is my job to help win the hearts and minds of Northern Irish people, but everyone watching this can help me with this task. Few people understand how much heavy lifting the electricity system can do to combat climate change. But we need everyone's support to get this job done. These changes will unlock options that allow us all to make healthier energy choices in our day-to-day -day lives. Each of us need to take responsibility. We need to believe what the scientific evidence tells us. We need to believe that the individual change counts. We need to believe that through our collective efforts and action, we are delivering a cleaner energy future. Let's get this done. Our planet can't wait.